Lockpicking is a fine art in many games and usually one that isn't too difficult to master, but in Kingdom Come Deliverance, it can be a downright nightmare. It took me a good solid hour to get the hang of it on a controller because Warhorse clearly designed it for a mouse and keyboard. And while still a bit challenging with these tools, it's nothing compared to trying to do it with two analog sticks. In this guide, I'll give you some tips on how to overcome this oversight and still get somewhere with lockpicking so you can get your thief on. You can learn how to lockpick when you meet Miller Peshik and Rate after the prologue. He will give you the quest The Good Thief which will require you to know how to lockpick as well as have some lockpicks in order to proceed. To begin, the first thing you must understand is that locks have varying degrees of difficulty and easy is not really easy at all. The chest you are given to pick as the tutorial has a steep curve and you can get a better idea of what I mean if you simply walk past Peshik and head up to the house on the left where you woke up and just a few paces from where you first stepped outside into Rate. There is a very easy door there and it's night and day difference. These will get easier as your skill improves with lockpicking. Second, you must understand that the sweet spot when the cursor turns golden moves not just counterclockwise, but also up and down a bit. This is important because if you simply just move in that direction, you will break your lockpick. Additionally, the thing that's really badly explained in the in-game tutorial is that you must swirl the left stick in order to rotate the lock. This is extremely difficult to do because it isn't smooth like it is on PC where you only have to press and hold D, resulting in more mistakes. You also don't have the pinpoint accuracy with analog sticks that you do with a mouse, so it can be really frustrating even on easy locks. When first learning to lockpick, you want to turn the left analog counterclockwise starting from about the 11 o'clock position or so. You always want to start from this position, and you will always turn the same way, making sure the stick is nearly as far out as it can go on the controller, making a very wide rotation. Go slow and take your time trying to keep the vibration to a minimum. The vibration is also important and is an indicator that you are doing something wrong. The stronger it vibrates, the more likely it is that you will break your lockpick, and also keep in mind that your lockpick has a health bar, so the more it vibrates, the less it can take. This means if you vibrate too much early on, you won't be able to pick the lock. Lastly, I want to mention that you can reload and try lock again and its positioning will be different. This is huge because the closer the sweet spot is to the center, generally the easier it is to pick the lock. So if you find yourself in a position where you absolutely must pick a lock and just can't seem to, Try reloading until you get a desired starting sweet spot. Stay tuned for more Kingdom Come Deliverance guides and coverage throughout February with our review coming in just a couple of days.